Hi friends, today I am going to discuss a little bit about Epstein-Barr virus, EBV. This is a DNA virus. This is a DNA virus. Uh, when this virus enters our body, it acts on CD21 or CR2 receptor on B cell. B cell. Uh, hence B cells got destroyed and it results in an increase in the formation of atypical CD8 T cells. Atypical CD8 T cells count will be increased in Epstein-Barr virus. It spreads mainly through saliva and hence an intimate kissing is required for this virus to be transmitted. Hence this is called kissing disease. Uh, coming to the uh, spectrum of carcinoma that Epstein-Barr virus causes is all these carcinomas are caused by Epstein-Barr virus. Hodgkin lymphoma, NHL, not, that is not Hodgkin lymphoma, Burkitt lymphoma, tonsillar carcinoma and nasopharyngeal carcinoma. One milder form of infection uh, caused by uh, Epstein-Barr virus is infectious mononucleases. This infectious mononucleases um, is also called as glandular fever and there will be a lymphadenopathy uh, most commonly a post cervical lymphadenopathy it will be present in this type of patients uh, uh, more commonly patient will have will will also patient will also have pharyngitis and atypical cd8 t cell count will be more than 10% will be more than 10% uh, this is uh, the uh, symptoms or uh, carcinomas caused by Epstein-Barr virus and coming to the diagnosis of uh, infectious mononucleases, there is a screening test called Paul Bunnell test. Uh, here we can detect a heterophile antibody to a sheep RBC. In this test uh, we can find some heterophile antibody. And this, is, uh, this disease is confirmed by monospot test and differential absorption test. This is a diagnosis of infectious mononucleus or Epstein-Barr virus. Coming to some antibodies uh, produced against EBV are uh, viral capsid antigen. As I already discussed, there will be a heterophile antibody. And uh, antibody to viral capsid an antigen that are IgM and IgG. Antibody to EBV nuclear antigen. One is a one antibody to capsid antigen and one antibody to nuclear antigen. Uh, these are present in a late infection and convalescent phase of infection. Coming to uh, early antigen, some antibodies develop to early antigen. These are uh, anti D diffuse and anti R restricted antibodies. As I already said, this, this disease uh, will cause some carcinoma. Uh, this IgG, except for IgM, except for IgM, all other antibodies. Except for IgM, all other antibodies like EBNA, IgG, IDD, um, anti-D, uh, anti antibody to early antigen like anti-D and anti-R all are present in carcinoma. These antibodies are present in carcinoma. Thank you and please subscribe if you like the video.